Can I ask you a question about revenue? Because you did mention that the chat GPT might struggle <clears throat> to make money. And um, I just saw a tweet by Mark Yusko. He runs Morgan Creek Capital, one of the big blockchain investors. And he just said, I haven't seen the revenue models yet for AI or even AGI. And I'm curious, where do you see the money coming in? And how do you think that will play out with Zarka, for example? Because ultimately these things do have to make money. Well, I think the money is coming, the money is coming in from from everywhere in, in in the end. I mean, that's a little bit like asking, where does the money come in from uh, integrated circuits or something? Because I, I mean, I mean, the, I think LLMs are a fundamental technology rather than an end user product, and and I I, I, I think that uh, AGI is also a fundamental technology rather than an, an end user product. So I mean, I, I think OpenAI is doing the right thing by their plug rolling out the plugin architecture they did right so i mean plugins that use gbt4 will have their own user interfaces and they they will be serving you know users in in in, in particular niches so i mean i mean i think a a retail chat interface like chat gpt is worthwhile it's interesting it it plays a role i mean people have questions they want to get answer, answers to questions like it, it's not a bad thing but i don't think that's the primary re revenue engine actually i think the primary primary revenue engine will be licensing the it'll be the api calls to plugins that, that then that then serve particular particular ver vertical markets and i think for for zarka it will be will be the same way. I mean, we'll, we'll, we will make a chat GPT type interface for web or, or for mobile or voice based. You can use through your pixel watch or whatever. I mean, we'll, we will, we will, we will make that and people will use it and it, it will, it will be cool. Right. On, on the other hand, we will also make a plugin architecture, which will allow people to allow people to build whatever application they want accessing Zarka's neural symbolic language model with, with 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 APIs and the revenue models for these plugins will be as numerous as there are vertical markets right i mean i, I mean i mean that that that's all, all all over the place but our plugin architecture can be much much better than google's or microsoft's because we have singularity net we have hypercycle we put a lot of thought into like how do you connect different software components together in a way that doesn't doesn't mean anyone has dictatorial control over the over the whole thing so the thing is if if you're building plugins for chat gpt in in the end like you're the minion of chat gpt right i mean i mean the the plugin architecture it, it it's made in a way that makes the plugins subordinate to 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 chat gpt and and in singularity net i mean we we've designed things for more peer to peer type op 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 operations so people can make software systems that interact with the zarka llm but they can be deployed in in a whole variety variety of of, of different ways then we have the AI DSL, which is a language for different components to talk to each other. So we can use the this AI description language associated with SingularityNet. So an, another AI plugin can use that language to describe what it does to the Zarka LLM and to describe what it does to another component. They can figure out how to work together. So I think SingularityNet has been all about how do you plug together multiple AI components on, 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 on the blockchain so they can cooperate to solve problems. I think this will lead Zarka to have a much more sophisticated plug-in architecture and ecosystem than OpenAI will have with their more centralized and, and dictatorial model. And I think that in the end is where the real money is, is in the A API calls being sold to the, the people making sort of application specific plugins and probably even chat will will go will go that way right like I, I don't think you need really one particular chat bot to serve all things like i mean i think 
you'll have a chat assistant on your phone. And I mean, if you're a researcher, you can have another chat assistant who's a research assistant helping you talk about and read and read the uh, research papers. And if you're if you're lonely, you can have another chat bot that's your virtual girlfriend or boyfriend, right? Which doesn't have to be the same as your research assistant or as your or as your phone, which has a, a dialogue system whose goal is to help you help you use your phone and, and get get stuff done better, right? So I mean I think the all purpose retail chat interface like we see in chat GPT is is a phase and that where the real money will be is in the plugins, which will include include some plugins that are more specialized chat dialogue systems with their own personalities and functions, and some plugins that don't look like chat systems at all. They just look like you know something that's playing something that's playing you music or something that's telling you what to buy. But 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 they use a neural symbolic LLM on the back end paid for by, by, by API calls. So, I mean, I think the bottom line is the revenue model is the API calls and there may not be a great revenue model for chat GPT as a product, but that doesn't matter because I think that's only of ephemeral existence because we don't have the whole plugin ecosystem built, built, built yet. And okay. there's, let, in the end, you're talking about the whole economy, right? Right. I, I mean, just like integrated circuits with the internet, we're the whole economy. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public, and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now, we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim. Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true. And you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, do you wanna profit from crypto? Then join my DeFi Academy. The Crypto DeFi Academy will help you create generational wealth. But don't take my word for it, listen to my students. When I first got into crypto, I remember thinking to myself, I need to learn more. Brian Rose, learning crypto, learning DeFi, gotta do it. I am so grateful that I jumped in and did this. I had to break through some limiting beliefs that I can do this, that I can afford this, that I can be in this. It challenges um, the things that are deeply rooted within us. Joining DeFi Academy has been one of the best decisions I have made on my blockchain journey. This course was a life changer, a game changer, a huge eye opener, coming from knowing practically nothing at the speed of the learning over the over four weeks was just fantastic. The information you provided in this class was invaluable. I feel far more confident in my next steps. We took complex concepts and made them easier to understand. What's different than so many other ones is it just doesn't tell you what to do. It uh, actually makes you do it. This is for people who are serious about becoming traders. This is the way it should be done. I realized from this learning experience again that it is not about what you learn, but about who you learn it from. The energy was insane. I've, I've never experienced such incredible energy on a live call. Brian Rose, you, you are a legend, my friend. It's the only thing in the market where you can get all information and learn everything what you need to know. Everything is so clear and so well done. And I am um, just forever grateful for this program. It made me feel so much more confident about crypto than I did before. I did not anticipate how passionate I was going to become about it. This course has been like a big learning experience for me, not just in the crypto space, but just uh, an overall uh, balance of life. What I've learned is, you know, how to take ownership, you know, of my life in a way that um, I really, I really hadn't before. 
yeah, you can't put a price on that, really. I would recommend it to anybody top notch. Excellence does not come cheap. You know, so if you want excellence, you gotta pay for it, but it's so worth it. Pull the trigger. That's what this course is about. You're not gonna regret it, really. It's amazing. Thank you, Brian and team. So what are you waiting for? Crypto is happening now. Click the link below, submit your application, and let me mentor you on how to create generational wealth and build the decentralized financial infrastructure of the future.